this tutorial I want to talk about animating our fixed effects and to show you this I'm actually going to use another video clip the same rules would apply to a title or an arrow that we did in the previous tutorial but this time I'm going to show you how to create a picture in picture effect so I've got the boys running backwards and forwards here and I want to add in say this surf over the rock clip so I can pull the surf over the rock clip to where I want it to be in my timeline say I want it to be just here but actually what I want is I want it to be showing inside the other clip so here's my main clip and I want my surf over the rock to actually be inside here how do I do that right well I go to the clip itself and select it and then if I'm in the effects controls you'll see that all my effects controls are shown here and if I click the word motion or the little icon next to it you can see immediately I've got the handles and I can start to pull things around and change them and now I actually want to do this in the program monitor you can if you like if I click this down arrow do it with the hot text here but I'm simply going to go to my program monitor and pull it to the appropriate size I want it to be and over here it gives me feedback that's about 30% it's probably about the right size 29.1% then I can physically grab it and drop it to where I want it to be you know what I think it might even look better a bit bigger so pull it out a bit there we go it's scaling from the middle because that's where the anchor point is if I wanted to scale it from the edge I'd need to move the anchor point to the appropriate corner or edge that I wanted to scale it from but that's perfectly acceptable so that's picture in picture and now if I just go a little bit before and hit the space bar to play you'll see that it pops on the waves go on and it pops off again now obviously we need to finesse that so what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to add a couple of transitions so I'm going to go to effects tab down here open up my video transitions and I'm going to open up dissolves and I'm going to add a cross dissolve at the beginning and a cross dissolve at the end now those cross dissolves are a bit long so I'm just going to trim one back then I'm going to trim the other back so that we've just got a quick fade in and a quick fade off so let's have a look at that fades in and fades off great so that's actually there but it's not motion it's just a picture in picture it's a very nice picture in picture but we haven't moved anything around so I'm going to select the clip again so that I get back to my effects controls what if I actually want this over this period of time to move from one side of the screen to the other I'm going to go to the very beginning I know I can't see it because of my dissolve and if that's a problem I can always select my dissolve and hit delete I'm going to select both of those and hit delete okay so I'm right at the beginning of this clip make sure I select the clip that I want to animate and then I need to think about what I want to animate at the moment I've used position and scale to actually get it to the place I wanted to get it to so I have set my properties but now I want to animate my properties I want position to animate across the screen so I don't want to change scale I don't want to change any of the other bits and pieces but I do want to change position and to allow animation to take place you must click these little stopwatches which as you can see says toggle animation now as soon as I click it you'll see that over here in this part of the panel a little diamond has been created although you can only see one half of it now if you can't see this section it's because you've got this little arrow clicked and it might look like this all you need to do is go to this little hash or this dotted arrow here click it and you can see this section for setting up the keyframes now this section of information is only looking at this one clip so if I now go all the way across to the end of the clip either here or down in the timeline and I move the clip across I will have created animation now I don't want to risk the clip going up and down so I could drag it across so click on the clip well I need to click on the word motion first and just drag the clip across but the problem with that as you can see is it could be up down it could be all over the place I can't really make sure that it's getting to exactly a straight line holding the shift key will not constrain in this particular instance and some programs holding the shift key will constrain it to one thing or another so I'm going to do control Z to undo now under this situation I would take the first property X and scrub it until it gets to exactly the place I want it to be and you'll see that these dotted lines are created now the first point here refers to this keyframe here which is a diamond 
And the last point over here refers to this keyframe here, which is a diamond. And these little dots in the middle refer to the number of frames. So this is equal frames all the way along. So it's telling me that I'm going to have a nice straight line animation from one end to the other. So I've hit the space bar, you'll see that it goes across the screen. And I can still go back and apply those default transitions that I had before. So cross dissolve at the beginning, which I'm going to trim right back. And the cross dissolve at the end, which again I can trim right back. Then make sure you actually select the clip itself. I'll go to the beginning and you'll see that it fades on, moves across the screen and fades off. And I've created a picture-in-picture -picture effect, which is animated with keyframes. A little keyframe showing where it should begin, a little keyframe showing where it should end, although you can hardly see it in my panel up here. We've got these two little keyframes saying what should actually take place. And if I click on the word motion, I can even change the path. Now, if you click just here, you'll see that I get that little arrow with the circle. That's telling me that there's a Bezier handle. And there's going to be one over here somewhere, although it's a little bit difficult to see. There it is. So I could, if I want to, even change the path so that when it animates, it can animate along the path that I've changed with those Bezier handles. That's picture in picture, and that's basic animation. But you can do an awful lot more. You can animate scale. You can animate rotation. You can animate the anchor point if you want to. You can even animate opacity. And we'll have a little look at some of the other bits and pieces we can do and some of the other options for pictures in picture in the next tutorial.